everyone it is Danny and welcome to this update video this evening I trust and hope that you're doing really fantastic and we're gonna be taking a look at what is going on across the North Atlantic so of course there's tropical storm Philippe out there as well as that new area highlighted off the African coast we'll be looking at the 2 p.m. update for that and we also want to talk about that tropical wave currently bringing impacts to the Caribbean especially the southeastern islands uh, some of which have recently dealt with impacts from Philippe while it was in the area but now Philippe is making its way out of course uh, further up north and then over in the eastern Pacific there is some activity which might manage to make its way into the Gulf of Mexico and we might see something try to develop over there so let's get straight into it beginning with the satellite imagery so here we are taking a look at the North Atlantic there we can see all that activity all that convection in association with Philippe and even with that moisture feeding in coming from the care and there is still some thunderstorm activity across some parts of the Dominican Republic and even for Puerto Rico as well a couple of thunderstorms noted there across some other areas as the afternoon hours are progressing heading into this evening there might be some additional showers and thunderstorms developing especially across parts of Central America but currently there is some activity forming in Cuba Jamaica and even down to uh, Panama Costa Rica and sections of northern South America and look at all that moisture all that activity in the southeast as a result of that tropical wave. So for parts of northeastern Venezuela, northern Guyana, as we head into the Windward Islands, we're seeing all of that activity. And so, uh, as I said earlier, some of these areas have experienced the impacts from Philippe and then this tropical wave is bringing some additional rainfall. Now, some islands, such as Grenada and even some, par uh, and even some parts of the Grenadines, have not really felt much from Philippe. And I mean, it has been very hot and dry. And the advantage with these tropical waves is that they help with that. They bring rainfall activity which helps with a lot I mean water is essential for daily use so with these tropical waves actually managing to move in with some rainfall activity that is good even with the heat because we can all agree that it's been a very hot year so the tropical wave really help out with that but the bad thing about it is that when they induce a lot of heavy rainfall there can be flooding so uh, that is a possibility and I have been seeing the comments from you guys about the rainfall that you have been experiencing from the tropical wave you can let me know what's happening this afternoon and how the day has been progressing for you especially for the windward islands including Barbados Trinidad Tobago we see some activity here so likely some heavy downpours at times now we want to go ahead and talk about Philippe so here we have the tropical storm and it has actually strengthened so uh, there we can see it on satellite not the most organized system out there but uh, as we look at the cone forecast here we can see it so uh, those tropical storm force winds they still lie to the east of its center and so there is Bermuda highlighted in blue with that tropical storm warning which is in effect so those rain all that all that rainfall activity is likely already making its way in maybe even some gusty winds at times and those rough seas out there so conditions will only continue to deteriorate as the day goes by and then eventually as we head into tomorrow those tropical storm force winds arrive in so uh, there could be some of those wind gusts and that might result in those power outages some down trees so that is definitely something to look out for so please stay safe guys and do not take any unnecessary risks and listen to your local officials but as we head through the weekend uh, Philippe is expected to eventually become a post tropical cyclone it is going to be losing its tropical cyclone characteristics and eventually becoming uh, post-tropical but with that the wind field typically expands so we'll find that more areas will experience those tropical storm force winds so sections of New England especially for Maine and even uh, Atlantic Canada Nova Scotia New Brunswick are likely to experience those uh, tropical storm impacts even some periods of heavy rainfall further up north in latitude headed into Canada as the system makes its way in or whatever is left of it could actually induce some snowfall as well so those are the impacts to anticipate and eventually we're likely to see some watches being up and so I uh, will see what happens as we head to later today and into tomorrow as well but uh, Philippe could strengthen a bit more and those impacts for Bermuda will continue to worsen as we head through the rest of today and so now we want to hop over into the eastern Pacific let's look at this graphic from the National Hurricane Center so there is that disturbance highlighted in 
red indicating that high chance of development. So 80% chance of formation through the next seven days, 40% chance through the next two days. So maybe as we head into early next week, this could become our next tropical depression over in the eastern Pacific. And uh, well to the west-northwest of the system is tropical storm Lydia. Now we definitely want to keep an eye on Lydia because in the long term it could bring impacts to portions of Mexico. So there is that next disturbance out there, 10% chance of seeing something become a bit. Either way, it's just going to be loitering and might not be an issue for anyone. So as we go on to Lydia here, we are looking at the cone forecast and we can see that as we're going to be heading into Saturday, there's that H. That H is representative of hurricane intensity. So it is expected to intensify into a hurricane this weekend, but uh, might weaken back to a tropical storm. So conditions won't be highly conducive to allow for it to maintain hurricane status for long. I mean, if they were, we would be talking about an intense cyclone on the horizon, but we're seeing that some weakening is expected and it might make that curve and make its way into Mexico. We definitely have to be on the lookout for the system as we're going to be heading into around uh, the latter part of next week or so. But of course, I'll keep track of it for you guys. And then as for that next disturbance, uh, that is expected to develop into a tropical depression and eventually a tropical storm. And that could even induce some impacts in Mexico. And that's the area that could make its way into the Gulf uh, and potentially bring some impacts to Gulf Coast states of the U.S. So after it would have made its way into Mexico, whatever is left of it is likely to move into the Gulf and could try to regenerate there. But even if something does not develop, a defined tropical cyclone does not develop, it could still bring those impacts, especially in, re uh, in relation to that heavy rainfall which triggers flooding. So I'll definitely be keeping watch of that for you guys. And uh, finally, let's go on to what the NHC has for this area here. So there's not a big change from this morning. Still that 30% chance of development for this upcoming tropical wave. Notice that you're not seeing an X. X usually shows the location of that wave of that low pressure area being watched, but we're not seeing an X, which simply means it has not yet emerged. So as we're going to be heading into this weekend, we could see that new tropical wave, and then it could eventually try to get itself together uh, once conditions are conducive enough to allow for that to happen and might move on the west northwestward track as of now models are trending towards the system making a curve out to sea due to a weakened high pressure system because high pressures they're like blockades and they rotate in a clockwise fashion that is why they steer storms to the west because of that clockwise rotation and uh, when they're not so strong these storms have a better opportunity to make their way up to the north so they take advantage off that and that is how they're able to move out and not to be an issue for the Caribbean and we've seen that with multiple systems this hurricane season and that is likely to be the case of this one here however it is still some time out and we definitely have to keep track of this I'll definitely be keeping you guys posted as time goes by though so that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update again that tropical wave bringing all that increase in rainfall activity to parts of the Caribbean uh, there's Philippe heading up north uh, to bring those impacts those tropical storm impacts to Bermuda Muda. And then in the long term, we're talking about the uh, northeastern U.S. and even parts of Atlantic Canada. There is a uh, tropical storm Lydia over in the Pacific, which might be doing some loop-de-loop -loop over there in the next disturbance, which is likely to develop, and that future tropical wave. So I'll be keeping you posted, and that is it for now. So I hope you found this video to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, as always, please do leave them in the comments. And you can also share your thoughts there. And remember to always be weather-wise.